Hi guys, my name is Kutlana Tepa, it's Dependence Creed, you know, one you feel me? So, today I'm back with another video, <laughs> I don't know whether to say shocking, scary, or, I don't know, ridiculous, I don't know. So, today I'm here to talk about, what's the internet, interneting, <laughs> the researching, researching child, um, you understand what I'm saying? The Google's Google thing. I don't know what to say. Um, so we all know and see what's trending about Pub Daddy and T.D. Jakes. Yo, like I can say a lot about T.D. Jakes. T.D. Jakes is like my favorite. To speak the truth, I'm not going to lie. But like that man has been through all the, you know what I'm saying? Like what people can walk away from you, let them walk. The Bible said that they came out from us, that they might be made manifest that they were not of us. For have they been of us, no doubt they would have continued with us. People leave you because they're not joined to you. And when they're not joined to you, you get super glued and you can't make a mistake. Let them go. And it doesn't mean that Opa was a bad person. It just means Opa's part in the story is over. And you need to know when people's part in the story is over so that you don't keep trying to raise the dead. You got to know when it's dead, David. When the boy is dead, wash your face and have another baby. You need to know when it's over. Okay, so here's this Diddy guy. To speak the truth, I've never really heard, heard anything good about this man. Like, okay, yeah, you have his money whatsoever. But how he makes it? Damn. When we hear about Puff Daddy, we hear about gay parties, sacrifices, twerking, bad music, ev like a lot of things associated with that man. And to speak the truth, I don't, I'm not surprised that the internet is surprised about their friendship. <clears throat> Who wouldn't be surprised, child? Yeah, but I mean, like, I think the, in his defense, I feel like, cause Diddy has been, um, at his uh the Porter's House Ministries. You all know that T. Jakes owns the Porter's House Ministries. Um, we've seen Diddy there with his family a lot of times, a few times, I mean to say. So maybe the reason why that T. Jakes went to go support Diddy at his fifty third birthday party because. He comes and supports him at his ministry. So maybe it was just uh, that type of vibe. And all the things that everybody's talking about. Like, this is what they mean when they say that people will come for you at your most vulnerable moment. Right now, people are saying that T.D. Jakes yo, has done so much things that have been hidden. But why wait to for this type of time to say everything that you guys want to say just because right now it's at his vulnerable moment whereby you guys just want to say things that you want to say i'm not defending the man but i mean like to speak the truth i mean like we're human but we're not sure if those things really did happen <laughs> i thought i was thinking the same thing so this is what this woman had to say about T.D. Jakes and Diddy. Sometimes it's not even revealed to the person getting accused as to who they are. That's bananas. And it's because, like, based on the law, they're trying to protect this, this person because the other person is more powerful and they could do things to them, but... To me, it's just unfair because you're putting this person publicly on blast. Mm -hmm. If you lose this lawsuit, if it gets thrown out, mm -hmm. or if you lose it in a court of law, you have no repercussions. You have a lawyer that's doing on contingency, so there's no money out your pocket. Your, you know, your identity is hidden. You go back to work like nothing has happened. This person has to hold this forever. So my whole thing is, if you're going to be a Jane Doe suing. The person you should be suing should be a John Doe as well. That's that's how I think you could fix it. 
Well, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know nothing about this. <laughs> this is not my. I don't know nothing. Nothing about none. None of this. Cause I'm just a. a, a I'm just a. A different type of chick. I'm telling. I'm suing immediately. Yeah. Everybody's gonna know. Yeah. I'm. I'm going on Instagram live. I'm snitching. I'm telling. Yeah. Immediately. Yeah. And I don't know how this works. So, I guess you have to be in that. In that. See, they're up in another uh, hemisphere than regular folk, too. They're very insulated. They can do what they want. They got people on payroll. And people the people on payroll is guilty as, as everybody, too. Yeah. Because that means that you don't sold your soul to watch other people get taken advantage of, and you're aiding and abetting in that situation. So you're fucked up, too. Yeah, I mean, Puffy's lawyer, not, not Puffy's lawyer, Puffy's bodyguards, you know, have come forward and was, you know, one of them said, oh, one of them, Roger Bonds, was actually listed in the paperwork of Cassie's lawsuit, and he, and he came forward and said, "Yeah, it's true." And the only reason I'm saying now is because I had four daughters, you know. But he had four daughters then. He had four daughters then. So that's the no, argument. Like, I'm well, not, if it was no. so bad, how come you kept working for this yes, guy? Yes, exactly. You know, that's exactly. ultimately the, the argument. All there. everybody involved in all the R. Kelly shit, all the cover up boys, all the ticket bookers, all that shit, and everybody involved that aided and abetted in, in Diddy or anybody who does this, Epstein and all the motherfuckers, everybody's guilty. Everybody's guilty. And now it's getting even crazier. Now there's rumors about T.D. Jakes being involved in these various situations and, and so forth. Not to say it's real. No, no, listen. I'm not saying it's real, but T.D. Jakes was trending the other day. I know it. But for a reason he didn't want to be said, trending for. And I, I shook my head not to say, that's ridiculous. I shook my head to say, Unfortunately, I don't put nothing past nobody no more. There you go. I, I I just can't get shocked no more. Yep. I've been so disappointed in the people that I've looked up to and found out about their dirty, shady, fucked up ways. Yep. And I knew this before it ever started coming out in papers because, you know, I know people, uh, some people who spoke about it publicly and then they got persecuted. I'll tell you, okay. This woman can't even deny anything anymore about the things that she's heard about this man so what other things don't we know about him because i mean like certain things she can't even say it on camera so i mean chair what's really going on i need somebody to fill me in and then apparently his wife came out to say that he has known about his him being gay like Sis, isn't that supposed to be your partner, yo, you feel me? But I mean, like, who am I to judge? And to speak the truth, he's been talking on point, saying that he's not going to address something that didn't happen or repent on something that didn't happen. So what are the issues about TDJs? Are we sure that they are real? Are we sure what is happening is real? People have been cutting, editing things whatsoever. I mean, like, come on, guys. Are we really believing the scandal of Diddy and T.D. Jakes having an intimate moment? Are we for real? Are we really going to believe this? Honestly? I mean, like, yes, he is a person. He has his mistakes in other areas of life or whatsoever. But, like, I mean, like, we all know when he's teaching, he talks about him being against homosexuality and whatsoever. So why would the same man come again and do the same thing that he's speaking against? But I mean, like, this is what his response was. And he was shaking, like he was shaking. I mean, like, just put the truth. It doesn't mean when a person is shaking, doesn't mean that they really did it. It's just that maybe he's overcoming the experience because I mean, like, we're all human. If something comes up about you on social media, whether it's true or not, sometimes it's just scary because it might, especially being a public figure and everything, you might think about losing your job, this, the, the people business or whatsoever but i mean like to speak the truth i know diddy is not diddy's name does not come up where good things are involved but i mean like are we really gonna crush td jakes after all he did for this particular man just because he went to this particular man's birthday party 
Come on, guys. This is what T.D. Jakes had to say for himself. He's not going to address any type of... For all of them, thank you for tuning in, logging in, looking in, praying in, watching in, discerning in, whatever brought you in. I was glad that you are here, and we greet you in the name of the Lord. One more time for our streaming audience. My God. If anything, I feel closer to the Lord than I ever have. Hallelujah. I feel his presence with me right now. The anointing of God is in this place. Amen. Keep it moving. The worst that could happen if, 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 if everything was true, all I got to do is repent sincerely from my heart. There's enough power in the blood to cover all kinds of sins. I don't care what it is, the blood would fix it. But I ain't got to repent about this. All I got to do is step over top of it and keep on going on. Glory to God, I'm not in trouble. I'm talking about the power of the blood, amen. Thank you, Jesus. I have used it and I will use it again, but I ain't got to use it for that. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Whatever I need it. It's available to me, and it's available to you, and you can have it when you need it, but you don't have to plead the blood when you didn't do the crime. So we all heard what T.D. Jakes had to say for himself, and he said that this issue is not one to repent on because he knows what he did and did not do. I mean, just tell me your comments down below, and please support me, share the video, like, comment, and subscribe, child. Please make sure you hit the like button, hit the notification bell, and come back. If you made it this far, thank you so much. I love you all. I mean, good nights. I am as shocked as many of y'all. <laughs>